Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to program one of these Baofeng radios manually without the need for a computer. Now these radios are very popular amongst pretty much everyone in radio at the moment. Um, purely for cost, you can pick one of these up for less than 25 pounds and um, they're great value for money and a great entry level dual band radio. Your Baofeng will have two modes. It will have frequency mode and channel mode. We do all the programming in frequency mode and when we store all the information to a specific channel in memory mode, we access that by pressing VFO slash MR, like so. And you, but to do all the programming, we need to be in VFO mode. One other part to mention, which is very important, we do all the programming on the top line, not on the bottom. If you do it on the bottom, none of the information will get saved. So do all your programming on the top line. Two important pieces of information to tell you before we go ahead and start programming. There's two things you need to double check. Number one, if we dive into menu and we scroll through the menu, we need to turn this off. TDR, make sure this is off. This is the dual watch function. Make sure that's off. If that's on, turn it off and come back out. Also, at the other end of the scale, in here, memory channel, you have to make sure that the channel that you want to save your particular repeater to is clear. If there's any other information on that channel stored, you can't just overwrite it. You have to delete that particular channel. And you do that simply by going to delete channel going into menu and just selecting, let's just say for example, channel one, we've got a repeater already programmed there. We wanna delete all the information there. So you press menu and it will delete channel one. That's just something that I've got to mention because otherwise, if you've already got stuff programmed on your bow thing, it can interfere with what you're trying to save. So make sure the channel is clear. The repeater that I want to program today is GB3BR, which is a local repeater to me, and it's on the 70 centimeter band. Now, if, for example, you're, the repeater you're wanting to program is on two meters, we simply just press band, and we can switch between VHF and UHF, like so. It's as simple as that. So the receive frequency for GB3BR is, 433.150. So that is the receive frequency. So that's what we listen to. Now, we want to set the offset. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is to go back into the menu and we go to menu number 26 which I hope is being picked up on the uh, camera. So we go into menu and we select for the repeater that I want to program, the offset is 1.6 megahertz. So we type in 001.600, press menu and exit. Now we've got the offset done, we need to set the direction. Now, handily enough, Baofeng have put the direction next to offset, SFTD, which is shift direction. Now, we know from the information from GB3BR that it's plus 1.6 megahertz, so we simply go into shift direction, press menu again, and we press the up key and select plus. Now, if you're direction is minus, you just press it up again. So you can go through them all, as you can see. So I'll select plus, press menu, and that's the direction set. 
Now we have our receive frequency done, we have our transmit frequency done. So if I press the key, it should display 434.750 if I press the button. So for a test, I shall do so. There we go. Now, unfortunately, nothing happens because we need to set the tone. So the repeater needs a tone to open. Now, not all repeaters do need a tone, but my local one does. And I'll show you now how to set the tone. We go to menu and we come to menu item number 13, TCTS. So we want to transmit a tone. We go into there by pressing menu and we simply scroll through the different tones. So the tone that I'm looking for in particular is 88.5 Hertz, which will open the Brighton repeater. But you can scroll through loads of different ones and you select the corresponding one to your said repeater. So I'll go back to 88.5, press menu again. So now I have the tone set like so. Now, if I key up the microphone, I will be able to open the repeater. Now I am licensed, so I am able to do this. So I'm gonna quickly give it a test, see if we can get access to the repeater. So give me a sec. M7 MMC, checking access. And there we have it. Now what we need to do is to store the receive frequency with all the details and the transmit frequency to the same channel. Sounds hard, but it's not. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it. First of all, go back into menu and go all the way up to the very end of the menu to here. So menu number 27, memory channel, go into here. Now I'm gonna save it to channel number one. So number one, press menu, saved to channel one. Now all we need to do now is to save the reverse frequency details with the code and the offset. Now to do so, we press scan star button which shows our re reverse frequency. So that's the transmit frequency with our offset information and our tone information. And we do exactly the same thing. We go to menu, memory channel, select, go to the memory we've already stored the re receive frequency to, and we press it again. And that's it, and we exit. Now, we can come back out of reverse mode by pressing scan and star. And now go into memory channel mode. And on channel one, hopefully the camera will pick it up. We have our repeater stored and saved. It does take a while to do, but um, it's not that hard to do. You know, if you follow this video, and you take it slowly and do it step by step, I hope this video will help you in doing so. The only thing you can't do when you're manually programming it is to name the channel. So when you're in channel mode, you can actually name the channels to whatever you like. I usually, for example, on my other one here, I name them, as you can see. Now you can't actually do that in manual mode and it can only be done through software. And the most popular piece of software, and it is free, is Chirp. And it's available for Windows and Mac OS. But you do need a data cable or a USB programming cable for your radio. And um, it is much easier to do. You can do it all on the computer and you can save a backup of your radio as well. So I hope the video was of some help or use to you. 
and if it has been maybe you could give it a little thumbs up if you want to make a comment below i'd like to hear from you whether it be positive or negative and uh, if you are new to the channel maybe you could hit that subscribe button too i really would appreciate that so until the next video i will catch you all very soon i wish you all the best 73 and goodbye for now